I have reported numerous times that Tesla Giga Berlin is advancing at an astonishing rate. Now, Tesla Giga Berlin took delivery a few days ago, I think it was yesterday, delivery of heavy equipment for the world's most advanced paint shop. That's where Tesla got there. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and electric vehicle analysis. Join our community and ring the notification bell after you subscribe so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Eva Fox has the details from the Tesmanian.com saying Tesla Giga Berlin will get the world's most advanced paint shop. We know this from Elon Musk's earlier uh, uh, tweets, which he tweeted several months ago using the new painting technology tesla cars will have a special attractive and lively look maybe new colors too giga berlin will have an advanced paint shop which will be able to apply paint in three layers several layers of paint give the color a realistic depth which makes the color brighter than possible with traditional paint systems Heavy equipment arrived at the paint shop yesterday. While uh, will be um, week will be used achieve to which will be used to achieve this ultra high quality result. Our friend Albrecht on January 25, late in the evening, noticed uh, who tweets at Gigafactory underscore four. Uh, he noticed near Tesla's warehouse where the company has the equipment to be installed in the factory. The truck was loaded with a huge Geiko Takisha paint dipping tank. Accompanied by a police convoy, the equipment was delivered to the territory of Giga Berlin factory. Albrecht wrote on his Twitter on December 20, uh, January 25, uh, in, at 10 30 a.m. As you can see, the pictures are like in the evening. Uh, it's already dark, saying huge dipping pools were moved today from a nearby storage hall with police escort to Giga Berlin. They will use these parts for the Geiko Taikisha paint shop. Uh, I don't know why they need a police escort for safety, but you know, what can you do if someone is going to steal it? What would you do with that? Uh, but you know, maybe it's a large, uh, wide uh, shipment. That's why police needs to escort it. In early December, the state environmental agency authorized Tesla to begin installing equipment in the paint shop at Gigafactory Berlin. The permit is issued on the basis of early approval and in accordance with Section 8A of the Federal Emission Control Act and will be conducted by Tesla at its own risk. The equipment, uh, Eva Fox says from Tesmanian, for the world's most advanced paint shop will be supplied by Geiko Taikisha. Taikisha. Geiko is a world leader in the design and construction of turnkey automated auto body paint shops. With the party's project launched in 2005, Geiko Taikisha was the world's first company to offer a zero environmental impact paint shop. The Smart Paint Shop by Geico revolutionizes auto body paint shops with innovative and energy efficient 4.0 technologies. It received the Shurkar Keynes Involved Award for the best research and innovation worldwide. Very exciting things are happening, friends, at um, Giga Berlin. It's fast moving forward with interior work, with heavy equipment for the paint shop. And the other day we saw the Giga presses coming um, and it's all bringing Giga Berlin um, more and more closer to Tesla's target date of June, July 2021, uh, where the first Model Y electric vehicles will roll off the assembly line from uh, Giga Berlin. And uh, yesterday I reported that Giga Berlin has very unusual and interesting strict control of quality, uh, several multiple layers of government and uh, or, uh, environmental organizations control the quality and adherence of Tesla with the standards of German law. 
And also Tesla itself is also controlling and uh, the report from RBB24, which is Brandenburg's public radio, that report also said that Tesla also has the will to adhere with the law and the requirements because if Tesla does not and uh, Tesla has to have uh, pay, uh, um, pay uh, big fines, which obviously Tesla doesn't want to do. And Tesla is also interested to uh, uh, apply, uh, imply or um, uh, go with the quality in order for because Tesla's employees they are going to work in the Giga Berlin. So I think this is going to be a really exciting place to work once it's ready. In the meantime, also, we learned that Tesla is uh, already looking for people to work in its um, uh, electric vehicle plant, which Tesla is also going to build at Giga Berlin, uh, actually in Grünheide. At this time, we don't know if Tesla is going to build the electric vehicle battery plant inside the Giga Berlin, which 300 hectares of land that Tesla has bought, or outside, because we learned uh, right before Christmas that Tesla applied to buy a huge warehouse, three soccer field size warehouse, where Tesla may be building the battery plant. But if Tesla does that there, that means uh, it requ it's going to require a lot of work to uh, retrofit the, uh, this, this huge warehouse into a battery factory. Um, regarding the battery factory, Tesla is actually looking people from unusual industries. Why? Because there is so much demand for batteries, uh, batteries and uh, other companies are also building their other car makers are also building their own battery factories. But uh, because there is so much demand, Tesla is has, has having uh, all the automotive industries having difficulty finding people who are going to work in the battery factory. Therefore, Tesla, for example, is looking at pharmaceutical industry who can uh, uh, people who are um, uh, uh, who are familiar to work with powder that can be used in batteries. Tesla is also looking people in the cigarette uh, manufacturing industry, looking for cigarette rollers, which can be used people uh, who are familiar in rolling the battery uh, cylinders, maybe. Um, that was the report that I reported several days ago. So these things are a lot of work. I can't imagine how Tesla is doing all of this and who are the people who are doing this tremendous amount of huge work, bringing not only Giga Berlin electric vehicle production uh, plant together, but also working and hiring people uh, for the battery factory, which we learned will be the world's largest electric vehicle battery factory once it reaches to its full capacity. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about this, especially about the Giga Berlin taking the delivery of heavy equipment for the world's most advanced automotive paint shop. And uh, this is very exciting, getting close to Model Y electric vehicle production. And uh, let, let's continue the discussion in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts, please. And uh, in the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and electric vehicle analysis. And ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Peace be with all of you and God bless you, friends. See you soon in our next report.